LeBanc cuts in, avoids a hit. Kevin LeBanc scores! What a play, start to finish for Kevin LeBanc. And how about this play? Through the legs of Rantanen. One more little move here to the inside. And then that great wrist shot that he possesses. And Joe Thornton right there says, yeah, I like that. Scotty making the moves in the studio. The same way Doug Wilson's been making moves in the boardroom as it relates to the San Jose Sharks. The big news that came down yesterday in and around power play time was in his third full NHL season. 23-year-old Kevin LeBanc, after playing in every game, scoring 17 goals, 39 assists. I think that would fool a lot of people who didn't follow it as closely. 56 points, easily a career year, and a very productive playoff, very important playoff in getting the Sharks through against Vegas, has re-upped on a one-year contract worth $1 million and a lot of maneuvering by Mr. Doug Wilson. But at the end of the day, playing on the top line, if that's the case for Kevin LeBanc this year, Scotty, I think those numbers are going up, my friend. Well, let's not forget, Kevin LeBanc once won an Ontario Hockey League scoring title playing for Dale Howardchuk and the Barry Colts to wrap up his junior career. So he's more than capable of improving, perhaps, Cooley, on those offensive numbers. And the aforementioned former Barry Colt joins us now to talk about his signing, his team, and expectations for next year. We welcome Kevin LeBanc to the program. How are you, Kevin? Good. How are you guys? We're doing very well, very well. Big fans of yours and Barry, as Scott alluded to, and we like the way the Sharks, they didn't draft you after the 107, 127 point season. You were already Sharks property before. Um, so that's a, a cute scouting, as we like to mention in the hockey business. So one year deal with the San Jose Sharks. How did it come about and why only the one year, Kevin? Uh, I just, I think it was the best decision uh, for myself and for the team. Uh, I think the salary cap is tight, and uh, sometimes you got to take a team discount. Uh, and uh, I think uh, I want to. I think my biggest priority for me, our biggest goal, is to win a Stanley Cup this year, and uh, that's uh, Doug Wilson's goal as well. So I have to take a bit of a discount, and uh, I'm kind of betting on myself uh, to have a good season, or if not better. And uh, I think I'm. Uh, Looking forward to this upcoming year with uh, and the enhanced role uh, that this uh, season has uh, to give for me. So uh, it's going to be an exciting year, and I'm uh, excited to be uh, proving myself as a top six forward. And uh, uh, I'm uh, confident and comfortable with the contract. You look at it too, Kevin. The opportunity is going to be there for you. Betting on yourself to improve your numbers. We talk about the 17 and 56 and knock on wood, staying healthy for the entire season again coming up next season. Uh, Many have talked about you perhaps as moving up onto the top line and playing with a guy like Couture perhaps. There's no Joe Pavelski there anymore, and that's a bit of a transition for everybody and an adjustment for everybody on and off the ice to make. But you know, with the opportunity for maybe moving up, as you say, to the top six, maybe even onto the top line, you must be very, very excited about all that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm really excited. And, uh, I mean, uh, Pavs is gone. I mean, uh, he's going to be missed, and we, we all hope for the best for him. But, I mean, at the same time, uh, it's just uh, it's opportunity for players like me to step up and take that role. And, uh I'm excited for that, and uh, I'm working hard this off season uh, to uh, get to that position. And uh, I mean, the, you can't ask for anything more than that as a player. I think, and it's going to be exciting. I, I want to be a reliable uh, forward, and uh, I think the offensive side of uh, things takes care of itself in my game. Just uh, playing the last minute or two minutes of the game, you know, uh, the board putting me out knowing that he can trust me and uh, know that I won't make a mistake on the ice. So I think that's going to be a big part of uh, this year for me. And uh, I think our team has a lot of depth and 
going to be a really exciting time in San Jose. We're with Kevin LeBanc, right winger, San Jose Sharks, third full year in the NHL, played every game, put up great numbers, 17 goals, 56 points. So, And we really appreciate your honesty on the program and for being on the power play. So you said you're comfortable with the contract. You did what's best for your team and yourself and basically taking the hometown discount betting on yourself. So in terms of numbers, what do you think you can do next year? Because you'll be RFA once again. And can you give us any insight to the discussions with Doug Wilson that gave you an indication? If you do this, we can do blank going into next year. Kevin, how does that work? Uh, well, I mean, uh, I think uh, Doug just said, like, the opportunity is there for you. You know, show us what you can do and prove to yourself and prove to me that you are who you say you are. And uh, that's what I'm planning on doing. I mean, uh, we want uh, – I want to be a top six forward. I want to be on the ice. I want to be scoring goals, getting assists, getting points, and – at the same time, I want to be the defensive, uh, reliable forward where they're not. I'm not giving up any opportunities. And uh, statistically, I, I think uh, my best hockey is ahead of me. And uh, I think uh, I, I think uh, I, I can go as high as uh, <laughs> as high as I can. Uh, I mean, the the opportunity is there for me, so. I just got to really uh, stick with it, work hard, and uh, show that I'm willing to put the work in. And that's what I'm doing, and that's what I'm preparing for. So it's going to be an exciting year for me, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. And, Kevin, clearly year after year you've gotten better as well. And you were drafted right after your first year playing in Barry for Dale Howardchuk. And then all of a sudden the point totals kind of took off. And, you know, you were a sixth-round draft pick going back to 14 as well. So some, some teams out there clearly, based upon where you were selected, had some doubts as to whether or not you were going to turn out to be the player that you've turned out to be. No doubt you've put in a lot of work behind the scenes to get better season after season after season, erasing all of the doubts out there in what ways from 14 to 19 now do you think that you've improved as a hockey player uh i think uh as you get older like the more experience you can get i think the better off you'll be and uh i mean uh playing for dale howardchuck in uh ohl and uh, barry i think he was an uh, unbelievable coach for me and he just um uh, He's a Hall of Famer. He knows what it takes uh, to get to the NHL and to stay in the NHL. So, I mean, just learning from him, uh, he's just so knowledgeable about the game. And he kind of teaches you things that you never knew, like uh, just that's how to get that scoring touch, scoring ability. So, and he kind of gives you that confidence. Uh, so, I mean, uh, to play for him, I, I think it was awesome. And uh, you got to come in and work every day. Like, that's just... That's just the way uh, hockey is. Uh, you can't really take a day off. And another future Hall of Famer, uh, Joe Thornton, I mean, I hear from him every single day. I uh, see his work ethic every single day, and uh, he's he's not stopping. <laughs> I mean, uh, he, said, uh, he always talks about how I can have a day off when I'm 30. So, <laughs> I mean, uh, that, that's just the commitment that I think it takes to uh, – play in the NHL and then to have a career you have to take it a step further I think we're with Kevin LeBanc San Jose Sharks couple more Kevin before we let you go obviously no Joe Pavelski anymore he's gone to Dallas you just mentioned you talk to Joe Thornton every day um how's he doing and do you anticipate him re-signing for at least a year and coming back and help the Sharks achieve the ultimate goal and that's winning the Stanley Cup uh, well, I mean, uh, it's sad to see, uh, Pavelski leave. I mean, uh, he, he was our captain and he was an incredible mentor and teammate, but, uh, I mean, he'll be missed by all of us and, uh, we wish him all the best. I mean, you, we learned so much from him and, uh, I think, uh, Jumbo and P Pavelski, they're both really, uh, really a big part of my uh, success and uh, in the NHL I think uh, 
I think uh, both of those guys, they really know what they're doing. And I think Jumbo, he's uh, he's like the alpha in the locker room. And then Pavs, he's, uh, he's the guy that's always uh, vocal and speaks when uh, – speaks when uh, times are tough and then knows what to say, and he just, uh, he's just a great leader, I think. Kevin, you played in 20 playoff games going back uh, to this past postseason, the most you'd ever played at this level for sure. Uh, give us your, your, your memories and, and how excited you are about future playoff appearances, knowing what it was like out there in San Jose uh, at playoff time and, and you being an integral part of it all. Well, uh, I mean, the more playoff experience you can get, I think the better because uh, you just uh, learn how to cope with your emotions, I think, under pressure. And uh, it's, I think uh, this past season was a big stepping stone for me uh, playoff-wise. I, I played in all the playoff games, and it was, uh, it was, it was a wild ride, I think. Uh, you play every other day against the same team. You kind of know their tendencies. Um, and you, you just kind of learn how to just keep sticking with the game plan, and uh, you got to stick with it no matter what. I mean, even in that game seven against Vegas, we were down three nothing, ten minutes left, but we we hung in there and uh, we got that call, and we got one, we got two, we got three, and then we got four. And next thing you know, the whole game is completely turned around. So I think uh, learning to battle under pressure like that that's that's something uh that's really hard to gain and to have have that under my belt i think is uh it's really good and um uh it was a fun playoff run but next year we're looking to take it a step further and be stanley cup contenders and i think uh it's going to be an exciting season uh for the sharks this upcoming year. Well, I, I just wanted to follow up quickly with you on that, the way it all played out. We know how it was with the Eakin major on Joe Pavelski and the four quick goals you talk about on the power play. You played a part in pretty much every one of those goals. I mean, at that point, what's it like when you know that every time the puck touches your stick, it's going to end up in the back of the net? You you had the, the magic glow at that point. Ah, uh, that was... I mean, to play a big part of that uh, game, it was it's something I'll never forget for the rest of my life. I mean, the way the whole series was, we were down 3-1 in the series and then 3 nothing in the game. And just 10 minutes left. Like, uh, it's just, it, it was crazy. Just the emotions of that game. I mean, we scored one in the first eight seconds and then we scored another one a minute later. And next thing you know, like, momentum's on our side. Uh, the fans are so loud and uh, building shaking and then we score the third one and then we score the fourth one and next thing you know like uh, the building's about to break down <laughs> but uh, it's something that uh, you'll never forget and like I said like the emotions of that game were just so low at one point and then they just become as high as the sky you know it, it was such a great uh great feeling and it was a great rush and I mean uh, to be a part of that and to play a big role that's something that uh, I'll take with me for the rest of my life yeah unbelievable four points you were right there it was an unbelievable experience uh, we appreciate your time Kevin your honesty and we admire you betting on yourself we really do believe you're gonna up those numbers have a career year and as you discussed, we'll be rewarded because we're an earned and deserved show and you will have earned and deserved it. Have a great summer. Train hard. Be safe. And hopefully Big Joe is back. Thank you for this. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Kevin LeBanc, San Jose Sharks.